Welcome to our section entitled CUCME Topology and Setup. This is part of the video series for the Cisco Voice Solutions for Small and Medium Sized Enterprises. In part, we're discussing the Call Manager Express. Recall in our prior videos, we talked about the SME software, obtaining and installing the Cisco Unified Communications Manager Express software, the Unity file set, and the CCP Express software. In this video section, we're going to cover the small and medium sized enterprise software. So first we'll take a look at the SME topology. Look at phones, switches, and routers and see how they interact to set up the voice network. We're going to check out the switch VoIP configuration, the router VoIP configuration for both skinny and SIP phones. We'll look at macros that provide for quality of service and security. We'll look at digit manipulation, dial plans and dial peers. We're going to go to configuring the interpod connectivity, GUI administration, SIP configuration to your ISP, and validation and troubleshooting steps. Let's first get started on the SME topology. With the SME topology, our focus will be on the switch, router, and phones. I'm going to open up a Visio diagram so we can see the topology. Topology is where you first should start to understand how this is all going to interact. And with the topology, we can help diagram some of the IP addressing architecture. But basically, switch is going to be our DHCP server. You may be wondering why that is, because we can offload some features that would normally be processed either on the server or router onto the switch. This would act as the default gateway then for the phones. So our DHCP server is going to be on the switch, going to serve our phones. Our phone is going to be an extension of 5000. So typically you'll see a phone at 5000, 5002, and 5004. Our phones will have a secondary number, it's called an E164 number, at 555510, followed by the four digit extension. They will have an auto tenant feature, so they dial into the voicemail in that section on configuring CUCME voicemail will be the auto attendant. They also have a voicemail pilot number which they dial into the router. So our switch will operate on VLAN 10. VLAN 10's IP address for the management interface on the switch is 10.10.0.254. The default gateway is the same. The router VLAN 10 is 10.10.0.253 and the router integrated service module is 10.10.0.253 or 250 depending on how we provision that. So this configuration will be a typical uh, setup for your voice devices. We have the switch connecting to the phones. The phone is actually a switch, so that interface is like a trunk link because it can carry two VLANs, one VLAN for the users and one VLAN for the phone. We're going to set up our VLAN on just one VLAN so I can use a soft phone on my PC. So I can get three phones in my topology versus fewer. We're going to interpod connect to another device, maybe another router. That's going to be connected through the router. We can also connect it through the switch port, etc. So we can have a number of options with this. And finally, we're going to go out to the PSTN for our SIP trunk. 